one of the most confusing, yet the most wonderful principles in science. What is life without light? We depend solely on light for all the information about the world. We need it in order to see and be able to appreciate the beauty of nature, particularly colors. How could this possibly be? Let's check out on this video lesson. The science of light has gone all the way from a mere transfer of energy to the creation of colors for entertainment and other purposes. Most of our gadgets are light emitting for efficiency when used at night. In the field of medicine, light is used to cut through the skin for surgery as in laparoscopy. The health sciences are also using light for other medical purposes. But the most important purpose is for humans and other animals to see the beautiful world through light. Light is also one of the raw materials in the food making process in plants which is known as the photosynthesis. So, are you ready to explore the characteristics and properties of light? In this video lesson, you will learn some properties and characteristics of light. Among the characteristics and properties of light, we will focus on refraction and specifically dispersion of light. We will also try to find the hierarchy of colors in terms of frequency, wavelength, and energy. We will try to find out through a simple activity how light disperses to form the colors of light. So let's start with the colors of light. Now what do you see on the screen? I know that you are familiar with uh, the popular song of uh, the group or the boy group here in the Philippines which is South Border. It goes something like this. There's a rainbow always after the rain. We know that a rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that is caused by reflection, refraction, and dispersion of light in water droplets resulting in a spectrum of light appearing in the sky. It takes the form of uh, a multicolored circular arc. Rainbows caused by sunlight always appear in the section of the sky directly opposite the sun. Now, can you identify the colors of the rainbow? Okay, let's try. Do you know who is Roy Zibiv? So I know that you're familiar with this. So we have the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue. We have indigo as flash on the screen and violet. So just remember that acronym or that name, if we can call that name, Roy G. Biv. Now, uh, you may try this activity on your home. I'll just explain it, how to do it in this video lesson, and you can do this on your home. This is how to make rainbows at home. So let's see, <laughs> kung kaya nga natin gumawa ng rainbow sa bahay. So when light goes through a glass of water, it also splits into a rainbow. The materials that we need are as follows: paper, glass, water, and tape. So you will need to do this on a very sunny day or try a darkened room with a strong direct light source. 
So dahil medyo nag-uulan ngayon, pwede naman kayo dun sa darkened room ninyo. However, you should have a direct light source such as flashlight. So first, you have to take a piece of paper and cut a slot into the middle of it. So kumuha lang ng piraso ng papel tapos uh, gumupit sa gitna nito. Tape this onto the side of a smooth, clear drinking glass so that the sun's rays can pass through the opening onto the surface of the water in the glass. Third, make sure that the glass of water is full. Siguraduhin nyo na puno ng tubig yung baso up to the brim hanggang sa pinakalabi niya. Four, place the glass on a white floor or a white piece of paper making sure the sun's rays are shining through the slot in your paper and heating the surface of the water. You should see a mini rainbow appear below the glass, so just like this one. So, yung sabing gugupitin nyo yung papel sa gitna, tapos ititape siya sa nyo. So, yun lang yung setup. So, you observe it on your home. A while ago, we highlight the arrangement of colors of light as Roy Jibiv when this person happens. So, by the way, what is this person? Uh, you have to understand this, the, that this person is a special kind of refraction which provided us colors of light. This phenomenon is observed when white light passes, passes through a prism. When white light enters the prism, separation into different colors is observed. Dispersion, which is a special kind of refraction, can be defined as the splitting of white light when it passes through a glass prism into its constituent spectrum of colors. So, pag dumadaan sa prism, yung white light because light is uh, but a small part of a vast continuous radiant energy that comes from the sun it exhibits both both particle and wave properties light as a particle consists of units of energy called photons light as a form of electromagnetic energy travels in waves so visible light is uh, that part of the electromagnetic spectrum that is visible to the naked eye with the wavelengths between 390 to 760 nanometer. So when this light passes through a prism, light is bent at a particular angle. White light is then separated into its constituent band of colors of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So, yun na nga yung rainbow colors. This phenomenon, or the rainbow, is observed when white light passes through a prism. So, yung prism ay triangular yung shape niya eh. Uh, droplets of water or water can also act as prism. Um, droplets of water can separate the components of white light into uh, roidibib or rainbow colors. A prism is a transparent optical element with flat and polished surfaces that disperses light. Now, let us proceed with the hierarchy of colors. Light is made up of wavelengths of light. And each wavelength is a particular color. So, yun na nga yung na-mention ko kanina that um, the visible light is part of the electromagnetic spectrum that is visible to the naked eye with wavelengths between 390 to 760 nanometers. The color we see is a result of which wavelengths are reflected back to our eyes. These are the wavelengths of the visible light. So as you can see, 
um, the one or the color with the longest wavelength is uh, the color red, while the shortest wavelength is violet. So, from red to violet, decreasing ang wavelength niya. So, as you can see, so yung wavelength ni violet, medyo miikli na yung, dis yung distance ng two adjacent waves. Pero yung red, mahaba yung kanyang wavelengths. Within the band of visible light, the different wavelengths are perceived by people as different colors. So you have here a detailed data about the hierarchy of colors. So you have it is arranged from red to violet as arranged in uh, the rainbow. Wavelength from highest to lowest. The frequency from lowest to highest. You also have here a data about the energy. So let's analyze the relationship. If the color has the longest wavelength, the frequency is lowest. So nakikita niyo ba yung relationship niya? While also the energy is lowest. Longest wavelength, lowest frequency, lowest energy. While shortest wavelength, highest frequency, and highest energy. So, pansinin nyo yun, ha? Mas mataas yung energy, mas mataas yung frequency, mas maikli yung kanyang wavelength. So, from that, we can say that the more energy in the wave, the higher its frequency. The lower the frequency is, the less energy in the wave. At isa pa din yung dapat yung pansinin dyan is, the longer the wave, the lesser the energy. The shorter the wave, the higher the energy. Why do we see colors? What determines the colors? The answer is, it's the frequency. We see different colors because our eyes react differently to electromagnetic waves of different frequencies. Another thing is, when light strikes an object, it may be absorbed, reflected, or transmitted. When absorbed, light is transformed from one form to another. The part of light that is not absorbed is either reflected or transmitted. Opaque objects reflect light. Pag sinabi nating opaque objects, pag na-encounter ito ng light, hindi tatagos yung light. While transparent objects transmit light. Alam nyo naman yung transparent. Whatever wavelength is reflected or transmitted is seen as the color of the object. So, like for example, um, this red shirt and uh, blue shorts. So, when white light strikes the red shirt, the colors orange, yellow, the rest is absorbed while the colors red is reflected. While for the colors of the short that is blue, na absorb na yung ibang kulay maliban na lang sa blue, it is reflected or is transmitted. Kaya nagiging ganyan yung kulay niya. So, when light passes through a prism, it can produce exciting patterns of color. Diba? What would the world be if all you could see only are shades of gray and not distinct colors? The ability to see color depends on the cells of uh, our eyes that are sensitive to different wavelengths of light. Nakakita na ba kayo nito na uh, we can say as an optical illusion? The light changes its direction. The pencil appears to be bent. So, dahil nagtitravel yung light from air to water, nagkakaroon siya na pagbabago sa kanyang speed. Kaya akala nyo ay nakabend yung 
lapis na nakalagay dun sa tubig. When light travels in a single direction, it follows a straight path, while when it bends, refraction of light happens. When light crosses the boundary of two media, ito na nga yung sinasabi ko, of different optical density, a change in speed takes place. Ito rin yung minsan na paningin natin. Pag tumitingin tayo sa pool, bakit parang ang tingin natin mababa, mababaw lang, pero pag tumalon tayo, lubog pala tayo. So, when a light ray passes from air into water, a similar thing occurs. The light ray is bent as it strikes the surface of the water. So, kung makikita ninyo, from air, nung tumama na siya sa water, medyo nagbago na siya ng direction. Nagkaroon na ng ibang angle yung uh, light. At this point, let us... Um, Try if you have learned something from this video lesson. One is, which has the greatest energy among the colors in a rainbow? A. Red B. Yellow C. Blue D. Violet Okay, time's up. The answer is letter D. Violet. So, di ba kanina? We have learned that uh, the shorter the wavelength the higher the energy. The longer the wavelength, the lower the energy. Next. Which property of light enables the formation of rainbow? So, you have here four um, characteristics. One is color separation. Two is dispersion. Three is reflection. And four is refraction. Letter A, 1 and 3. B, 2, 3, and 4. C, 1, 3, and 4. D, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Alright, the answer is letter B. Dispersion, reflection, and refraction. The third question, which of the following orders of visible light colors shows increasing wavelength? A. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. B. Red, yellow, green, orange, violet, blue, indigo. C. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. And letter D, violet, blue, green, orange, red, indigo, and yellow. Alright, the answer is... Uh, the next question, which of the following statements is, correct, is incorrect? Hindi tama. A. Short wavelength corresponds to low frequency. B. Frequency of wavelength are inversely related. C. High frequency or high frequency light corresponds to short wavelength. And D. Low frequency light corresponds to long wavelength. Okay. answer is letter A. Ang tanong kasi dyan, aling statement ang hindi tama? So, let's analyze natin. Let's start with letter D. Low frequency light corresponds to long wavelength. Di ba nga si Red? Long ang wavelength niya, pero mababa yung kanyang frequency. Then, mababa din yung kanyang energy. Letter C. High frequency light corresponds to short wavelength. So, kabalik na rin siya ni letter D. Short yung wavelength ni Violet, pero yung kanyang frequency and energy ay mataas. Letter B is, frequency and wavelength are inversely related. That is, uh, higher frequency, short wavelength. Long wavelength, lower frequency. While letter D, short wavelength responds to low frequency. That is incorrect kasi uh, low a uh, longer wavelength have low frequency. 
Letter D. Blank refers to the splitting of white light into seven different colors. A. Dispersion B. Refractive Index C. Reflection D. Refraction Okay, what's your answer? If your answer is letter A, 